Hello and a very warm welcome to another episode of the Mothram Vlogs where we discuss, or our style guide as we said it, where we discuss all there is to know about suits, about um, trendy dressing, about looking like a gentleman at all times. So we are being joined by Fahad, as we know, Fahad runs Mothram, and can I just in fact say, uh, we did not mention this in our previous vlogs, that Fahad has been running his business for about six years, he's dressed political royalty, stars, he's dressed the Prime Minister, so I'm sure when he says a thing or two about suits, we ought to believe it. Thank you very much for being with us, Fahad, once again. Thank you. Let's start with summer generally. I see a lot of people recycling their suits to so half the time to look at it and suit later. You put it in a cupboard and then that's the suit that you have. And you wear it in summer or winter or times. I think that's that you'd be able to tell better. But do you think that is the way to do it? Isn't there like a separate thing known as a summer suit? Absolutely. I mean uh, one thing you have to understand before anything else is the anatomy of a fabric. Right. So Every jacket, every style that you go for has a completely different way of constructing. Uh, for a summer jacket, the fabrics have to be lighter, the gauge has to be lower, uh, the thread count, although higher, can give you a better fall of the jacket. All those things have to come into play and if you're really a, a fashion enthusiast, you will definitely understand uh, how important the role of a good fabric is in constructing even if it is a jacket or a trouser. And for our audience, when you see a roll of a fabric, what does that mean? I mean, uh, you have to understand, uh, you know, first of all, your environment, your dynamics. If it's a really hot uh, place where you live, and you know, uh, if the outdoor environment is not really friendly for the traditional woven fabrics, uh, you can always substitute it with a nice linen sport jacket or a cotton based jacket as well. Um, I'm interjecting here, but yes, let's start with fabrics first. Absolutely. So I hear a lot of these words run around tropical fabric. What does that mean? And you mentioned linen and cotton for some. Yeah. So the tropical fabric is uh, usually something that's something of a one size. It's all sort of a combination fabric which can go year round. Um, it serves your purpose if you're looking for certain wardrobe essentials. So if you have to fill in uh, your wardrobe with say three or four different jackets, uh, probably it's your biggest bet because uh, it's very interesting to um, But other than that, uh, it's definitely a huge open, at least in my opinion, you wear a tropical jacket with a denim in the summer afternoon. Right. I, I just think they, they, they just do very well. The, the garment looks completely off, one is very flowy, the other is more rugged. Yes. So it's just not complementing each other. <laughs> On the other hand, if you're looking at a linen jacket, uh, yes. um, just like what I'm wearing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, it really pairs up nicely with a pair of denim, uh, which is going to be more or less your essential garment for uh, summer, even if you're looking for a smart casual, uh, because they both have this really interesting sort of a fiber that's um, that kind of is giving you that uh, luxurious feel but also makes it look somewhat of a household sort of a feel or, or the garment kind of tends to not really have a very uh, slick sort of a structure. Right, and I've realized that your jackets that the linen is a lot better quality. I mean, the linen jackets that I've seen around that, that retail at high street stores generally in summer, it's a lot more wispy almost. Yeah. It's not very like, uh, when I wear a jacket I want to feel dressed up and at the same time be able to bring from that in summer. Yeah. So what is it that's, that sets your linen apart from um, the others? Well, uh, we almost um, exclusively deal in the Irish linen. Um, now the Irish linen itself, although it started out from Ireland, but it has, it has become something of a trademark now. Right. Uh, because of the construction, what happens with Irish linen is that um, you know you, it's very rare that you find a pure linen jacket because okay. linen wouldn't stay together uh, unless blended with the cotton. Right. Um, what happens is a lot of times people blend in a linen with a more polyester based cotton, right. which starts to give that uh, rough feel to the fabric which uh, is not desirable. What you're wearing right now is uh, one of those um, Irish linens that we just spoke about. Um, there's a lot of fine Egyptian cotton blended into it and the proportion or the ratio for the linen to cotton is almost 90 to 10 which keeps the garment very soft but uh, the cotton actually keeps it not um, from, it actually retains the fabric structure and avoids 
uh, the fact that it would probably uh, get into too many wrinkles or you know just try to tends to avoid the wrinkles. Right, that was my next question. So it's not obviously about the tension and I appreciate that you know that's free. But how do we get around that? You know, it wrinkles really quickly. How do we get around that one? Or do you think that is the look for summer? Do you think that's sexy to have? Absolutely. I mean uh one of the things that actually sets a nice linen suit apart is that it has that natural uh, uh, feel to it. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if I'm traveling, I automatically tend to know that my garments will have a certain bit of wrinkles to it. Right. Um, the good part is that because these jackets are deconstructed, they're unlined. It's very easy to iron them, even if it is, even if you're staying in a hotel and you quickly have to get it ironed. You can almost do it by yourself. Whereas if you're wearing a formal jacket, you have to get it steam pressed. You right. have to make sure that the shoulder pads are not tearing off. Yes. So there's a lot of care that comes into it. Uh, with the linen jacket, it's almost uh, as handy as you know. It's sort of thing that you have, which may give you a bit of a formal look. But it's almost a piece of garment that you can have on the go and just throw it in your uh, suitcase and you're ready to travel. So since we're discussing fabrics, before we move on to colors, mm -hmm. from morning to evening, if I have to go to, let's say, summer wedding in the evening, what, what would be the choice of fabric um, for that occasion? Um, I, I mean, I, I am, I'm fairly old school when it comes to this. The lighter, the lighter tones for me are always something that I go for on the day time uh, or a day event. Right. Uh, as the day progresses, I'll probably move to darker tones. Right. Uh, maybe a navy blue linen suit or a black. Uh, so it works all year round. The it colors being It does. Um, but would I, the fabric be different for summer, for in the evening? Absolutely. I mean, I, I would probably go for a more cotton-based or a linen-based uh, jacket as well. There are blends of linen as well nowadays. I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of innovation coming in the textile where you have almost uh, linen-based fabrics that are as light as a pure linen garment. Um, but they tend to retain their uh, their shine and they tend to retain their structure pretty well. Right. So right. it's all about just experimenting with the kind of garment you have or the kind of fabric and then just figuring out uh, how you can play around with it. So for evening and for weddings etc we've established that it still is you know, the safer colors like dark grey and navy. So for daytime and for summer 2019, are there particular colors you're looking out for? Colors people should wear in the daytime? Um, absolutely. I mean, uh, for me, uh, I I always believe uh, that. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do love experimenting with colors. I mean, uh, just adding that uh, spunk of color in your garment, as the Italians call it, the spritza. Right. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's something that you can actually put in your garment just to add that little flair. But um, I, I, I'm fairly neutral with colors. This year, uh, we've taken a bit of a risk with our uh, spring summer collection, and we're going with an all white collection. Right. So okay. um, we're focused. I was just about to say, of course, yes, you have indeed taken risks, but yeah, <laughs> I go on the white one. <laughs> <laughs> this time, we're going to go with the uh, whites because. I don't know, maybe it's just a psychological thing. It's, uh, last year was really hot and I just felt that why it's the color I'm going to go for. And I think it, it actually uh, helps us understand the more, uh, you know, the, the, the basic colors actually help you push your limits when it comes to designing uh, okay. interesting garments yes. as well. And yes. you know, if you just flood your garment with color, uh, you tend to forget uh, well, paying attention to the more star to uh, you know how the fit should come in or how the construction should be, but but choosing a white garment is a bit of a challenge in itself. You get to work with a garment that's very plain looking, and then you have to bring some light into it. So it's a bit of a challenge we've taken. There is a bit of risk there, but um, I, I I'm actually pretty excited about it because there are a few garments that I personally have uh, handprint and kept on the side of my own wardrobe. <laughs> We're pretty much on the same page because you know now that the award function is about to start yeah. and that is exactly what I had in mind. I wanted to go all white yeah. you know, where you get back to the basics but you get the fit and you know the quality right. Yeah. Yeah. So you spoke of linings and that's another thing that we can look at in Absolutely. summer. I mean can you discern between what sort of linings people use in summer or you know an unlined jacket mm -hmm. and how structured it is. So uh, there is this common misconception uh, that has been developed in our traditional markets that a lining can only be a silk lining. 
Right. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, almost any fabric can be used as a lining fabric. Uh, we have um, made it a point to go for a lot of unlined jackets as well in the right. last couple of years because keeping the garment as light as it can be is something that we want, <coughs> especially yes. with our extreme temperatures at least in Pakistan. Uh, but one thing that we are trying out in this time, I think, is that we are in our compact jackets or some very feasible ones. So, a uh, extremely light on the body and a pretty much similar to purple. So, just moving away, just experimenting with the little details uh, in a garment can actually bring about a lot of difference. Most certainly, yes. And I'm assuming, you know, in summer it's breezy and there's some beautiful lining inside. I like it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, so we've spoken about fabrics, colour, cuts. Are there anything other than a blazer that people can wear in summer to look dressy? And what sort of jackets then would there be in the market to sell? Um, just to dress a look up? We actually have come up with a few really interesting jackets. Um, I wouldn't call them jackets, but they're basically an overshirt. Uh, you'll get to like see a convertible them. thing that you mentioned. You'll get to see them um, in our collection. Uh, they're basically made out of uh, the traditional activewear cotton jersey nice. material, um, but they they turned out pretty well uh, once we started experimenting with the fabric. So it has that little bit of stretch to it. It, it gives a really nice tapered shape to your gown. But you know you can almost wear it over over a basic uh, t-shirt and just uh, make it layer it up in a way that it gives that whole complete uh, three garment outfit. So it's going to be light, um, it's going to be very lightweight and uh, I think it will still serve the purpose of making the entire look more common. Looking forward, looking forward. Thank you very much, looking forward in fact. Okay. And this was our edit for the summer jackets, blazers, etc. For any more questions, for any tips that you want us to cover, please mention that in the comments, follow Motharam and let us know your feedback. Thank you.